degrees outside. The uh, Hydra Flask uh, wide mouth with the 64 ounce uh, capacity. The ice is filled up halfway to right about there. And then it's cold water all the way to the top. It is 153 currently in West Florida. Let's see what temperature is right now in the in the water. And then we'll put it outside for about six, seven hours and see how it does. It's not ridiculously bright outside, but it is still in the 98 range, so it's pretty warm. And it looks like we're going to settle right around 34 degrees or so. Maybe 33. Come on, 33. Sweet. All right, so we got right at like 32 and a half degrees or so. We are going to put this outside. And then we'll check it. Oops. My test, this is my old water bottle. Time is 3.07. And basically, we're going to test out the old water bottle set up the same way as the new one, the new Hydro Flask is. The new Hydro Flask is about uh, twice the size, but it still has the same ratio of ice to water. The Hydro Flask might have a little bit more ice in it, but only by a cube or two. This temperature will probably be about the same. It'll get down to about 33 degrees. Uh, as soon as it hits 34, we'll know that it's going to be the same temperature overall. And I'll put it outside. The temperature outside now is 100 degrees. And it, we'll leave it outside for however long until all the ice melts. And that'll be the point that we stop, is the point that the ice in this is completely melted. We'll check the temperature, maybe go another hour. And then uh, at that time, we'll check the Hydro Flask, which was put outside about an hour and a quarter ago, and see uh, where that's at. This is down to 33 degrees now, 33 and a half. We'll let it go another couple seconds. I'm sure it's going to end up settling at the exact same temperature since it's all ice there on the top at about 32 and a half, but it's at 37, 33 now, and that, that's good enough for the experiment, so. I don't even think it's been an hour. It's uh, 4.07, and it is 65 degrees inside of the uh, water, and um, it's still right at 100 degrees outside. So basically, <clears throat> in under an hour, all the ice has been melted, and the water is now uh, 65 degrees. So we'll check it again in a few minutes until it hits uh, 70 degrees, and then we'll call this one done and uh, get a time frame. See, it's 100 degrees. The temperature is rising to 92 uh, up on the quick view thermometer. Let's see how cool the water is in the regular. One. Let's see, it's going at 83. While it's settling, you can see the time is 442. Let's see if it gets down to 80. Say it makes it down to 80. Because there's still ice in here. Not sure how much, but it's a pretty good chunk. So I'd venture that's still probably in the 30 range, maybe 38, 39 degrees. Hundred degrees. That's not even in the sun. It's uh, right there, right there in the shade.
Whew, still at 36. That's crazy. I'm gonna put it in there. This is like 32, maybe 33 degrees. So it's gone up maybe two degrees in about three hours. We'll see if it gets down to 34 and a half and call it good there. Jeez, that is incredible. All right, we, we can say 34 and a half. I'm sure it'll get down to there. So it's gone up two whole degrees in three hours of direct sunlight. There it is, 34 and a half. I'll just check it again in a few hours. All right, this is the moment of truth. 90 degrees outside. Time is 9.48. Let us see where we're at. While we wait here, I'd like to point out that I realize it's not an extremely accurate comparison considering the green container has no insulation whatsoever. So, however, you see that's still going up and it's 93.9, oh, 95 degrees. It's pretty warm. Well, I guess that's probably pretty accurate. 95.7. As you can see, the ice has been gone out of that since earlier today when I checked it. And there's still ice. Still ice inside of the hydro flask. Alright, so we're at 96.1. It might go up a little more than that, but we're not going to sit around and wait for it. You can see that that whole top piece is still ice. It's definitely a little smaller, and it's been... um kind of com combined into one piece, but it's definitely still all ice there in the top. Probably from about, uh, I don't know, like, there's like a little ball of ice, like right in that area. So, but hey, I mean, it's still, still icy. And at... 9.49 p.m. That's at least eight hours of that. I'm going to take a quick swig of this. Ooh. Yep. That's about 90 degrees. Mm. And the water in that thing is still 32 and a half, 33 degrees. That's incredible.